All right, it is time to start booking the play. The, we, there's a new playlist now, and we're getting ready to dive in. We just completed our draft. I'm going to load it in, but I've got Cheek and Kanda with me here. Gentlemen, how you feeling today? Oh, saucy. <laughs> mm, saucy? Ooh, Cheek feeling saucy. Okay. What kind of sauce? Um, Hot sauce, baby. Let's Ooh. go. Ooh. It's week one. Getting some wangs. It is week one, and we've got a lot of a lot of fun stuff here. So for this first show, um, so we've obviously we've been us three, we've been texting each other about the new GM mode. A lot of fundamental changes this year, but now that we're in the mode together, um, we'll go ahead and walk through a few of those things here quickly as we start. Uh, so one of the big ones, the GM assistant, this roster status is new. Um, so as people level up their ranks, injuries will always be here. If morale shifts are here, as we start to develop rivalries, you'll be able to just scroll through them here versus kind of staring at your roster and trying to read and piece it together. You get a really nice visual that'll show that commissioner goals. So our first commissioner goal is to not book our most popular fighter. We'll see about that. Uh, so that's, you know, similar shakeups will build up as the, as the year goes. We've got our journal that'll build up as we start making promises, have contract negotiations, power card displays for what's used, and then those career standings. So I'm going to look at my seasonal challenges here. So you can see surpass 300K in the bank. So basically, if I didn't make, you know, I made that same game pick if I had held that off, I would have this. So this is interesting. This kind of tempts me to book a cheap show this week just to get this knocked out. Uh, 10 tables matches, 10 shows of GM interference will be a little trickier. Uh, five promises I think will be easy. Uh, five shows where every match has <coughs> a different match type. This was one that confused the hell out of me last year. Uh, but as to the moon card, so hopefully we can figure it out. Three superstars, very happy. 10 TLC matches, spend 400 count power cards, 225 popularity, gained book 10 tag team matches so a little mix of simple and complicated for booking the shows this is pretty much the same thing as last year uh big difference here gonna be we've got some new promos uh so class change we've talked about if you get to level 15 a superstar so like logan paul we could have him switch uh between fighter and bruiser training is that new ring xp so as people are in matches uh they'll level up that xp unlock perks as we go and those perks are shared. So when I get Dakota Kai to level 10, whatever perk I choose for her is the perk that will stay with her throughout this whole save. Uh, so if I choose to make someone's match specialty hell in a cell, that's what the match specialty would be for all of us. So training in this case, you get somewhere from one to 10 XP. How much XP it takes to level up, the higher your level, the more XP it'll take. Tag team callouts are new. Uh, so we can actually start tag feuds through a promo we can also extend tag feuds through a promo which makes those easier to book and then the match types uh, since we are doing the new setting uh, we will unlock so you can see here like crew tier two gets false kind of work crew tier three gets last man standing so we will gradually be unlocking these with our logistics decisions on the logistics train so this stuff is new where once you buy something you have it it is yours to keep uh, so if I buy the concert hall, I will get, I will default be in the concert hall every week until I buy the wrestling center. Then I'll be in the wrestling center every week until I buy the arena. Uh, the only thing outside of this is every pay-per-view, every PLE has a logistics boost that exists. Uh, I have not gotten to WrestleMania on stream yet. Uh, but from what I've seen so far, this will always cost 50,000 and one asset the week of the pay-per-view so mm. if you want to use that bonus just make sure you have 50k in the bank um the others you know kind of whatever strategies you want to take you get one asset every week uh so you can stack them up you can spend them right as you get them uh that's up to you uh for the managed roster so uh this tab is pretty much the same but free agents is where we've got another uh, bigger difference here so you will default by always getting four jobbers that will always be there for free um if you look just above where i'm at you can see a, the little magnifying glass with a five next to it you get five talent scouts per week so if i search want to search 15 and up i'm using two of my five 
I would be spending $25,000 just to search. I will get four results from that. So if you want to dial in, you know, you can select male or female, but now I'm up to three search costs. Uh, if I want a face, now I'm up to four. And if I go, well, I want a good promo, that's going to cost me two. And this, like this search, I would not be able to perform. You get five uh, scouts each week for free. Uh, there are power cards that can get you extra scouts. So we've unlocked a couple cards on stream where you can get 10 talent scouts that week. Um, so that's a card you could save for a week. You want to make a lot of signings. Um, but yeah, so like obviously the more vague you are, the more chance you might get a search result you don't want or don't need. Um, but it's a little, you know, kind of, kind of a guessing game, um, with it. You don't necessarily know who you're going to get. So definitely some strategy, uh, it's a free agents power card. Pretty much the same. We've just got a lot of new power cards. Um, so like I unlocked one of those right after the draft. Um, as we're leveling up logistics, all those logistics have a card where you can pick somebody and make their logistic be tier one next week. You can't use that for a pay-per-view. Uh, get schooled is a new one. Um, I know the gold level is 30 ring XP, which 30 ring XP could take somebody from like level five or level six all the way to like level 11. Um, so those can be very handy as you're picking superstars to build behind. A uh, lot of new power cards, so we'll definitely walk through those as they pop up. Um, and then the career tab, most of this will be the same. So you have the graph that I usually don't look at much, but the big difference here, you can see those um, challenges, the lifetime revenue, and the fan changes. Each tier of that, you're going to get a trophy. Um, and now there's a clear display of your progress towards the next tier. So we were always wondering, like, how close are we to that next revenue trophy? You can go to that career tab and you can see uh, that progress. So running that all down, most popular fighter not being booked uh, for a power card this week. For me, that would be Logan Paul. And what card do I get again? I get bad timing, which is select opposing brand, reduce the length of one of their contracts by one week. I feel like that card's nothing crazy. Not really, because it was a random yeah uh, superstar too so and like at the be. start everyone's contract is full season so i might I mean if, <laughs> right yeah so maybe later on that'd be a good way to get somebody but i feel like at the start i don't need to do that so this is where i'm gonna go to my managed roster miss there kind of figure out who i want to pair up here so i think we go just to save on the promo i think i'm gonna go gunther and Sami Zayn as my main feud i'm gonna go pretty deadly versus chase you for my tag feud um, and then that leaves Logan Paul to face either Seth Rollins or Nathan Frazier. And then the person I don't pick feuds with Ludwig Kaiser in terms of matching everybody up. On the women's side of things, we can go Bianca with Dakota. We can go Nikki with Chelsea. And then if I want to sneak a tag dude in there, I could as well. So let's go ahead and start throwing stuff on the card and see what we want to do. So I'm looking at staminas in terms of who might get a, a match type right off rip here for like a stipulation. And I think we're going to have Bianca and Dakota. We're going to give them Extreme Rules Week 1. They got a really good pop. That will hopefully... Um, allow us to kind of bookend the card and then in the main event we're gonna have Gunther and Sammy we're gonna have that be world title right off the rip so those two should be definitive best matches there uh then we're gonna go I'm gonna do the tag team call out we got this new promo let's use it um so you're a two you're a three you're a four and three. so we're gonna have chase you Call out pretty deadly. So hopefully kickstart that tag feud. Oops. Then I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Seth Rollins take on Kit Wilson. I'm gonna do a normal run in with Logan Paul running in on Seth, hoping to start a rivalry there. 
And then Kit Wilson gets to, you know, have a match, maybe give a little boost to popularity. And then we're going to go see who's a good promo out of these. Okay, so they're all about the same. So let's have Nikki Cross and Chelsea Green fight. We're going to have Ludwig call out Nathan Frazier. And then we're going to do another new promo with the training and give training to Nathan Frazier and hope that he gets that. Um, logistics is... So the thing right now where I'm at with logistics is... I have this challenge to get 300k in the bank, and I'm very close to it. So I'm thinking about sacrificing my logistics week one to get this. In theory, I should make enough revenue, even at a small arena, to get plus $11,000. There's a little risk to that because it might not happen, and then I'm potentially in the same spot next week. But I'm going to go no logistics week one. So I'm not going to do well. As tempted as I am to talent search, I'm going to hold on that as well for the same reason. Um, and same thing with power cards. I'm going to hold on these right now. Let's get that seasonal trophy. We'll get a pre-match physio for doing that. Yeah. So we're going to not clear the promo. We're going to hit the right button. Yeah. So I think it was what we're rocking for week one we spent thirty-seven thousand on the show so that puts us at 240 or excuse me 252 so i'm gonna hope that i make at least uh like sixty thousand dollars to make this worth it and if i don't uh then i got a decision to make next week but there it is first show on the books all right it's mac down uh new season blah 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 I want to see SmackDown doing better than WCW this year? Why? Ooh. Why? That's the wrong team. That's the wrong brand I'm feuding with. No, you're feuding with the Triple H. So knows. just no. because we're not feuding, we'll say I, I think we can do it. I'm not, you know, I'm not sure, but I'm, I, I think we can. Oh, Leia. Okay, that's fine. Selecting. Decision time. Wait. Oh, woman. Well, yeah. Yes. Women. Um, then, as a reminder, in case anybody missed uh, the draft episode, which go in the playlist, watch the draft. Um, so, world like the singles champions get plus ten pop, tag champs get plus five. Since ECW does not have women's championships, uh, I get plus twenty and plus ten respectively on the men's side. Okay, we have a uh, Valhalla as our women's champion to give her a nice ten boost. And we have uh, Alexa Bliss and Tamina, a little cruiser. Uh, wait, I picked the wrong giant. Uh, Alexa Bliss and Piper. Tamina's going to be pissed. Yeah, Tamina's uh. now. Wait, wait, wait. I had a title, now I don't. Okay. Our, I'm going to leave the world champion for now. We're going to pick. What, what? Wait, this was Intercontinental last year. What is this? Uh, Intercontinental. Uh, it's still Intercontinental, Intercontinental yeah. Okay. I had to really stare at the belt. I, I still wish we could just like pick our own belts. That would be nice. I think I'm gonna give it to Veer. Give him a little Veer pen. Is coming. Veer, 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 Veer. <laughs> also, I will say I believe Carmelo. So Carmelo and Trick Williams like broke up in real life, but I think they're a team in the game. Yeah, like, perfect. They broke up after. All so. I need to know. Yeah. That's all I need to know. And I think we might give it to the bisexual Undertaker. Oh snap. <laughs> That might be our move. <laughs> and we're doing it. Bisexual Undertaker is. It. How do I, I confirm this? Boom. Confirm. Ooh. Bad advertising. <laughs> okay. It knows. So All right. Here we go. At least oh. one table. Oh, that's what you want, buddy. Oh, I guess to the okay, move. Go. For that. 600K. We like that. Three superstars to a new rank. We like that. 10 shows with self promo. I really like that. Hollow yeah, promo. Really like that. Triple threat matches. Really Damn. like that. Ten extreme rules. Okay. Why does SmackDown have the easiest challenges I've ever seen? I don't know, but I like it. First thing we're doing, we're buying the concert hall. Hall. Concert hall. Where, where, where's the assets? I have two assets. Yes. Yeah. You have two assets. You'll get one every week. So 
Uh, basically, like in this case, you would have to wait two weeks before your next upgrade. Yeah. First thing we're doing, we're buying the console. And then the, <laughs> yeah, and then you can see. So if you wanted to go just full arenas, it'd be tier three. And then if you go back to console, hall, it'll show you what uh, match type you unlocked as well. So now oh, you have submission cool. matches. Cool. I like this. Okay, and then we're quick with the reminder, quick. this year, submission matches uh, are what cage matches were last year and vice versa. So if you need to end a feud, you will end it in a cage match this time instead of submission. Okay, I'd like to remind everybody that uh, last year when I was SmackDown, I did Birth of Legends right away. I'm going to do the same thing. Birth of Legends, Dane Priest going up, Lexa Bliss, Piper, Tamina, Tyler Bay, and Trick Williams all getting wow. a little boost. They are boom -de boom deep boy first off we're going to have kevin owens and the bisexual undertaker in a world Ooh. title match and he wanted to see oops i want he wanted to see a tables oh, match, we'll give him a tables match. Well, that is big what else is big my love for you oh Aww. thank you okay so is that as big as your vengeance you have oh, oh no buddy. against cody oh buddy no I do need 600k in the bank, so I gotta start saving up. But I needed the new arena. That. Yeah, that's one of the. Self like, promos, metal. triple threats, callouts. We got this. Self promo, boom. We'll give it to. Uh, we'll give it to Joe. We're gonna give it to Joe. Oh wow, that's, 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 crazy. That's, that's the rest of his body. Come on, go back to that. Oh, shit. <laughs> What the heck? Dude, that man would kill you in a bar fight. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> That's a guy like um, I know to make friends with for protection. Oh yeah. What about Ivar? Ivar. I don't know if it's just because of the face paint, but something about Ivar and Veer make them look like they would kill each other. What Ivar about Valhalla? So fun fact I I forget if it's Ivar or Ivar's partner Eric. I think it's Eric. Valhalla's married to Ivar's tag team partner. Of course. Sure. Okay, we're gonna try a little call out here. What else did I need? Oh, a triple threat. We're gonna open with dead triple threat. And it's going to be four. Oops. Oh. We'll see. The woman, Tamina, you had a chance, so I'm gonna put Tamina in there just to. That's fair. She needs a shot of that. Huh. We're open with that. Our mid card, we're gonna get a little uh, Ivar versus. Uh, I should actually. Okay. Just get our tag. Like I'm not gonna put the titles on the line for them. It's not gonna be. A Titly titles, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. That's why. That's why. Just the Giants versus the non-Giants. We'll see what happens. Even though I'm taking the title out of our hands here, this is gonna be. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, guys. Oh, we'll just have these two go at it, and we'll have the other half of the tag champ, Tricksters versus me, Veer. We got. There we go. See, we got stuff cooking. It's a little advertising for his day. Yeah, I'm gonna make sure we have. Okay, so let's select. Like, there's no reason yeah, so to ever select. Yeah, game. so okay, okay. Now that you have it, concert hall will always be your default this arena. This is way better. This uh, is way better. Yes, I. This is way nicer. The only way that'll change is someone uses a power card um, or you upgrade. Okay, I think I'm good. I'm thinking I'm good to book this show this week. You ain't getting out to the moon for the tables matches. Oh yeah. Crazy. Yo. Hell oh, yeah, we'll be in the hunt. <laughs> That's a good yeah, no, we'll this be, is gonna be hunt. I wanna be able to send Cody a message. Why is this dude talking shit? Dude, Teddy Long's really fired up about Asuka. Laughing his gums. Oh man, WCW men's champion, world champion, a lot of champions to crown. <laughs> Both Raw and WCW have United States Championships, but different ones. All right. I'm going to go with my women's champion to start out. And it's going to be... Oh. 
Oh, Miss Ripley. Ripley. And then a little tag skis. Let's go with. Let's go with Indy. And. Zoho. And then. For the men's tag. Oh man, this is tough. This is tough. I want. Ricochet with. Could it be? Uncle Howdy. It is. <laughs> it is, baby. If you're watching the video in the comments, what should we call Ricochet and Uncle Howdy's team? <laughs> oh, God. I got to go Roman Reigns, right? do it and then the men's let's go with big bad brawn so like he'll he'll clean house on that keep hold that belt for a while and we have a two-bit arena of opposing brand must use tier one arena oh blinded pakistan select an opposing brand to start next week with zero scouting points. And those would be the free agent signings. Oh my goodness, the back alley crew. <laughs> you have to use yeah. a shitty crew. All right. That was a lot going on. So my goal for this week is just make sure your least popular cruiser is in a match. We can make that. What do you get for that, though? That's the question. Oh, uh, yeah, that is true. Let me see. Oh, my God. Now, That's really fans cool. gain by a large amount so yeah all right so show logistics i also want to upgrade my venue so i'm gonna do that that's about all i have uh monies for but i will check the power cards so i know a guy immediately gained two talent scouting points which is pretty clutch i feel like in the gold one you get 10 i haven't seen the silver yet Ooh, okay. So, uh, probably five then, we're guessing. Yeah, be, but yeah. uh, injury rehab reduced by two weeks, and then that's pretty much all I can do for this week, though. So I'm going to wait. I'm just going to start booking and see where we kind of end up with some of that. Um, <clears throat> so to get things pop and Charlie Brown, we're going to go Roman Reigns against Cody Rhodes. And... It is going to be just a normal title match, partly because we are broke for this week. And then, of course, the ever so talented Mrs. Ripley. We're going to have her go and start her title defense against the one and only Becky Lynch in a title match. Now to the card that is anything but the mid card. We will have The Miz Bummers. against, he's a specialist, we got flexibility. The Miz against Mr. Strowman in a title match. And then we're going to have Ricochet. Oh man. Oh man, I'm scared. The cruiser's only good against the giant, right? So that's the ideal or matchup. The biggest thing is so you can make other stuff work. Um, but if you're doing face versus face or heel versus heel, just make sure you put it in the middle of the card. Okay. Actually, for the better fight style, I'm going to have him face. Akira against Uncle Howdy. I know it's face face, but at least it'll be fun. And we'll throw in a tables match for funsies. So there's that. Now I gotta decide if this match is gonna give me a better kicker for entertainment. I don't know. I don't know how to order that. I think I'm going to leave it as is. Yeah, I think the, the pops are better on the ladies. They're both title matches. Does both them being both 
15 like ring points matter because bronze only 10. Uh, that I'm not sure. I don't know if the ring X I, the ring XP might because like last year they had the the stars, so ring XP might be involved in that calculation as well. Okay, understood. Have Ricochet call out anybody? Hmm. No, I don't want to do that yet. I don't know. Everyone sucks on the mic on my show. We got like three at best. Dirty Dominic. We're just gonna have him self promo. I feel like that's the route I'm gonna go to start because I need to get some popularity built up, especially with my ladies. Um. Actually, let's get Ricochet going too. All right, that's kind of what I want to do show-wise. And I do want to circle back. I want to get my injury rehab because God knows that's coming for me. So but, you will go if you buy yes. that. You'll have to clear something on the show. So forty. It gives me like nine. So I'm gonna do. So close, boys. I can taste it. Hold on. What's his? A two? A two? Eh. What's her pop? 52? He's at 60 already. So we made it. We have a show. But I do just want to browse through my season challenges. Book 15 shows with a title match. So we'll get that. Spend a lot of money on promos. That might take us a minute at this rate. Use 50 scouts. I guess I could send somebody to scout. Uh, book 10 shows with a perfect curve. 10 power cards, 225. Just use 10 power cards against... Uh... <laughs> Woody Hollis, I don't know why. <laughs> you're right, you're right. What, uh... Hmm. Alright, I don't think these are too bad. It's nothing really egregious. But just to get to work on the... Use my talent scouts one. I have... 1,000 I could do, so I can use one scout. Yeah, so you could... You could add to the filters if you want to use up more scouts. I don't okay. think that changes the cost. The search cost oh, is just cool. based on the level, so you could run that up to five if you wanted to knock out five this week, just for the hell of it. Alright. Um, yeah. Alright. So there you cool. can see. In this case, it only added a couple since. Right. And then, so if you go back real quick, just to kind of show Cheek, if you go back to the free agent thing that where you search now, if you go back to talent scouts. So I just wanted to show if you perform a search and back out to look at something, what you've searched for stays. Cool. <clears throat> so you don't, like, if you search, don't feel like you're trapped in that menu. You can back out. And then if you had more money, you could right. literally do, if you had more money and you had the talent scouts, you could do another search on top of that no nope, that got me what i wanted as you can see my uh i got five out of 50 talent scouts used so we are on our way folks all right kicking off with ecw and the other difference here with this round robin order is the order we book is also the order we'll simulate so last year cheek you always had the first show when we were going through them this case whoever like books first will go first sometimes the computer will go first as well as that round robin order changes uh kicking it off for ecw 
We don't have women's championships, but we're still going to have a good women's division. Bianca Belair, Dakota Kai kicking off Extreme Rules action. Dakota gets the win. Three-star match. No rivalry, unfortunately, but we'll take three stars in the opener. Chase U calls out pretty deadly with the new tag team call-out promo. And we get that tag feud, so that'll be the feud for our tag titles uh, to start things off. So love that. Seth Rollins taking on Kit Wilson. We have Logan Paul running in, hopefully starting a Seth Logan feud. And we get just that. One and a half, the run-in was going to bring that down. But we get the uh, rivalry we wanted there, so that's good. Ludwig Kaiser calls out Nathan Frazier. A uh, little singles feud for those guys getting started with an excellent promo. Nikki Cross taking on Chelsea Green. Nikki Cross getting the victory. One and a half there, but... Yet again, we get the rivalry started, so early on, we like that. We have Nathan Frazier with some training. He gets five ring XP, uh, working on leveling him up. And then the main event, hopefully we start a feud here. Gunther and Sami Zayn. Gunther defending his world title, and he does so successfully in a four-star match, and the rivalry begins. So very happy with that show. The only downside there. Didn't get Bianca and Dakota into a feud, but they the curve was good, main event was great, and all but one of our feuds got kickstarted, so we'll take that. Nice. Oh, man. All right, over on SmackDown, we're opening up with a, a women's <laughs> title match, Valhalla versus Liv Morgan versus Tamina. Oh, Tamina shit. is our new women's champion, but we got a little uh, Valhalla, Liv Morgan, little feud might might uh, might be our little triple threat feud in a way, if you if you will. So I like that. Joe Coffee says, "Hey, I'm pretty good, but he only gets one popularity." In these hard match. We're just gonna try to fly through these ones because it's the one half of the tag team champions going up against a giant in Ivar. Ooh, and half, one half of the tag team champions does his job. It's a mediocre match, but we do start rivalry. We like to that. Paul Cruz calls out. Wait, you can call out people that are in matches now? I didn't even notice that I did that. It's a good little... Yeah, well, the only way it works is, so like, he Apollo was... Crews can't be in a match, but the person can't right, right. Yeah. right, right. Same thing with the Crews. Gotcha. Uh, Veer versus Trick. Let's see if the other half of the tag team champion or the Intercontinental champion, who's going to take it? Oh, our tag champions are just, you know, we got a little rivalry going there too. We like that. It's okay. Uh, we got 14 5, but her popularity goes down too. But luckily, she can take that hit with a tag title with uh, around her waist. Okay, here we go. Main event one on one tables match which was requested by Triple H. Damian Priest versus Kevin Owens. Hopefully, starting a few here. The bisexual Undertaker pulls it off, keeps his title in a great match. No robbery started, but that's fine. It is fine. Over to WCW. The women's title is on the line. Miss Ripley gets Becky Lynch. All right, so Ray Ripley keeps, but we get a robbery, which is pretty big. Ricochet increases the popularity. And now we got The Miz. Versus Big Bad Braun. In a title match, Braun keeps the belt and gets a good rivalry going. So good things going for WCW to start. An okay promo for Dominic Mysterio. Loses quite a bit of popularity. It's not ideal for me, but at least we get some cash. And fan favorite, Uncle Howdy, up against Akira Tozawa. No! Oh, the worst match of the card. No one is surprised there. So he start gets us some money, but loses nine popularity. That's pretty brutal. Not gonna lie. So that's tough for uh, one half for the women's tag team. Now for your main event, the title match between Roman Reigns and Cody Rose. The match everyone has wanted to see. Let's see how much of a match it really is. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, he finished the, the belt. Story. He just hand. He finished the story. He did it. Cody Rose, but only okay and no rivalry. All right, and then we head over to Teddy Long's Monday Night Raw. And the man that she mm. thought he was going to take L. Hey, yeah, I got Night. Yeah. yeah. 
Now yeah, he's over trade on for Raw. Him. Yeah. Losing to Shinsuke. Yeah. Two and a half stars. They start no. a feud. Nikita Lyons, arguably the juiciest ass in the business, calls out <laughs> Natalia. They Next start a feud. Earth. Damon Kemp and Austin Theory against Josh Briggs and R Truth. Briggs and Truth get it done. One and a half stars. Self promo for Natalia. Nobody gave a shit. <laughs> Tables match between Sean Flair and Neo Sky with an Oscar run in. And Charlotte gets the win. Two and a half stars. No rivalries off of it. And then the main event Finn Balor, world champion, defending against Julius Creed. One half of Creed Pros. Finn Balor gets it done. Two and a half stars kicking off a level one feud. So for our recaps here, we'll run these down. Uh, so we've got good booking, good booking, good booking, and good booking. Congratulations, everybody. Three stars kicking off ECW with Dakota beating Bianca. No feud. Uh, one and a half stars for Seth Rollins over Kit Wilson. Logan Paul runs in, kickstarting a feud between Logan Paul and Seth Rollins. Uh, Nikki Cross and Chelsea Green start a rivalry with a one and a half star match. And then in the main event, Gunther defends against Sami Zayn. They kick off a feud with a level four. And then on the call outside, Chase U at level one with Pretty Deadly. Uh, and then Ludwig Kaiser is at a level one with Nathan Frazier. On SmackDown, three stars as Tamina gets the women's championship. Liv Morgan and Valhalla starting rivalry in the process. Two stars for Carmelo Hayes defeating Ivar, kicking off a feud for them. Trick Williams defeats Veer Mahan, one and a half stars, beginning a rivalry. And then the main event, tables match. Uh, Damian Priest hangs on to his title over Kevin Owens. Three and a half stars, no rivalry there. WCW, Rhea Ripley over Becky Lynch, three stars. Uh, Rhea Ripley hanging on to the women's title. Braun Strowman hangs on to the world title, or excuse me, the U.S. title, uh, defeating The Miz in a three-star match. Akira Tozawa defeats Uncle Howdy, one star. And then the main event, Cody Rhodes wins the title. Night one on WCW in a two and a half star match over Roman Reigns. And then finally for Raw, LA Knight falls to Shinsuke Nakamura uh, in the US title match. Two and a half stars, kicks during a rivalry. One and a half for Briggs and Truth over Damon Kemp and Austin Theory. Charlotte defeats Io Sky in a tables match after a run in from Asuka. Two and a half, no rivalries. And then Finn Balor, two and a half over Julius Creed beginning a feud. And then they had Nikita Lyons call out Natalia for their feud. So as we advance here uh, to the viewership screen, one thing that'll be different about this this year is also this screen will display in the order that we book as well. Uh, so like I think week two Canada, you'll be first. So you will have the first uh, post-match screen um, to kind of like flow with the order. So we get 38,000 fans on ECW, $20,000. We just barely uh, get over the 300K. So I'll look to get uh, probably the arena like you guys did. Uh, held that expense just for the sake of knocking out that season challenge here week one. For SmackDown, 41,000 fans for SmackDown starting things off. $65,000. That's where that arena does pay off. In a big way, SmackDown booking a strong show there. Over to WCW, 36,000 fans and ho, oh, seventy-five thousand dollars raising okay. that bank account up. Needed it. And then finally for Monday Night Raw, thirty-eight thousand fans with forty, just short of forty-nine thousand dollars. So I get pre-match physio. Uh, that is what I get for getting over 300K. I did not do my weekly challenge. SmackDown gets it to the moon card for their commissioner goal, which will be able to get plus 15 popularity on somebody that's below 60 after they get booked in a match. And boom, Xavier Woods says there, the goal has become number one. And after one week, Xavier Woods himself is a top. Wait, did you not get your trophy until the week starts, I guess? So that was just one of the challenges. Um, uh, so doing five of those is what gets you the trophy. So I got to start there was a power card. I just saw kind of the really knocked that out. So I'll Canada dive into Shamim oh, here. Oh, interesting. Fuck you, okay, blah, blah, blah. We already saw them talk about that. I'm going to start with Triple H. Okay, yeah, I get it. And that's the classic 
for anyone watching, the first time you don't do the exact mat the class matchup, first time you do face versus face, first time you do all that stuff, Triple H acts like you've never played the game before. <laughs> Getting a women's title. You have a bit of a problem. I'm uh, not sure if I can... Oh. Costume malfunction. Um, what is his ass rip? <laughs> I'm just going to keep him out of the show tonight. I don't want to waste 20 grand on you right now. You got it. Man. I just picture Chad Gable with the finger up for the whisper thing. I picture that, like, that girl. I think it's the little girl where it's like the dog is, like, pulling her underwear on or whatever. The sunscreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually had her removed from that. Sure. It was, we couldn't be trusted with, with that. Yeah, apparently. So, anyway. So, we are booking week two, show two for SmackDown. We get the first show of the week. Feeling pretty good coming off week one. That's feeling really great. And looking at Vito Random Superstar, I'm going to go ahead and buy that immediately. And anybody. we're going to have that. And you know what? I'm, I think I'm also going to grab a fixed match because they are important this year. So, um, might as well do this this week. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take oh, a superstar uh, from ooh. SmackDown, or sorry, uh, ECW. Yeah, and that superstar is uh, Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, let's so, go. Oh, well, uh, we're going to grab him from you. Thanks, Cody. Uh, wow. Pretty awesome. There we go. That's two code used in week two. Awesome. Immediately using it to take Seth freaking Rollins. So, you will get him next week, so you won't have right, him yeah, yeah, the show. Yeah. Okay, so we need to start off with a triple threat because that's what we're doing and it's going to be for the women's wait oh i need to put other ladies in there ladies so valhalla wants her rematch and i'm also gonna go throw in pretty sure Liv morgan was in that last match so it's gonna be a title match and i've got to see what triple h wants this week do not book your most popular cruiser we get hell spa that will be worth it so we're gonna go ahead and do that we need to save up the money. I just spent a lot, but that's okay. That's fine. Uh, Self promo, triple threat, call out. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a lot of money. That's a million dollars. It's weird how promo. they word that. Spend 1,000K. Spend 1,000, 1,000. Uh, we don't even have anybody right now. Booked 10 shows. Okay. I'm feeling good. We don't book our most popular cruiser. That's fine by me. We are going to go ahead and book in. Kevin Owens. And. Hmm. He didn't get a. Wait, does it say our the thing still? The rivalries? Yeah. If you want to pull up your GM assistant. Oh, there you Show off the new. So that's the gotcha. new thing they put in, which is so Ayo. nice. Looking nice. It's all okay. I guess I only have three rivalries on the go because I can't. There's no other pages, so okay, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so Valhalla Liv Morgan. Yep, that's the match. Uh, Ivar Hayes and uh, God, the deer is coming. Where is he coming? <laughs> on trip. Do, um, do, do we think the tag team would work? Because we got the tag champs in a feud, so they could still be in a tag feud. Like, they could have their singles feuds and attack feuds. And attack feuds? Okay, let's start that, then. Let's so start that up. If something happened, like, you couldn't use somebody, you basically have those singles feuds as backup. Okay. Or vice versa. So it's going to be... Extreme rules, tag team. Wait, how many are? Stamina, stamina, stamina. Stamina's fine for everybody so far. We're going to leave it not as a title match. See if the Giants can get it done. And over here, maybe we do need them. Okay, actually, that's going to be our opener because it's a decent match. Extreme rules. We're going to have a normal match. We're going to have the Gabesters. The Gabesters. Oh, he's busy. I forgot. Oh. The Braithers. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just, uh, he literally just had a wardrobe malfunction. I forgot about that. Yeah, I was uh, trying to, I was like, wait, what is this? 
<laughs> specialist versus bruiser, we can we can take that. That's a decent little thing. And then here, we pretty much have to go Damian Priest versus Kevin Owens again. Uh, we did not get a rivalry to pop off there. So we're going to try again. I guess I could call him out, but I think we'll just... Little uh, Apollo Cruz self promo. We're gonna get maybe the big pipe skis. Hello. Call out <laughs> Liv. Maybe we'll get a little something going there. For this last and... one, I will say you'll want to check. I didn't pay enough attention. It said uh, don't do the most popular cruiser. I don't know if a promo counts for that, so you'll want to double check that. Oh. I didn't Most popular to see this. Uh, okay, that's yeah. fine. So you'd have to say, like, square. Square. So that, so that just means we're going to have to go ahead and... Oh. Big signing? Ooh. Brang Vault. I want to pair nicely with Valhalla. At least established. Maybe... I think we want a male. Man. And then you get five talent scouts for three, so... Later, we're gonna leave it. So, who do we get? Oh, oh. Hey, Ashton points have been refunded. Okay. That's that, good to I know. hadn't seen that yet, so I was like, oh, that sucks. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. <laughs> Hold on. If, if you get it refunded, if we get it refunded, do yeah. we just... yes, okay, okay, wow, it's actually a lot of money. But uh, if you go ahead and click on his thing, you can negotiate less. Weeks. Ooh. So you can, this year, you can negotiate as few or as many weeks as you want. Um, so you can literally pay a week or two oh, and wow. make a decision down, if you want to keep it. Buck. Yeah, it gets cheaper the more you sign them, too. Yeah. All right, let's try a four week with Dexter Loomis. I like his name. I like his look. He's wearing gloves, but nothing else. It doesn't even look like he's wearing tights. I'll have so. to send you guys the picture. There's a thing where he would like hide under the ring and like slide his face out and the camera shot would do like a top down of him i'll send you guys one of those photos so you can appreciate Look. dexter three asses don't want anything else ass. and <laughs> we he's just joining the the roster even though he's got one promo skill hopefully he can get himself maybe he'll call somebody out actually at least maybe he can start he is a bruiser, so or a fighter rather. So where is a bruiser he can call out? He's gonna call out the Coffsters. The Coffinator. I mean, deck, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm feeling good about this show. We're at the concert hall, obviously, because with the new thing, we like that. And yeah, I think that's SmackDown for this week. Oh. We're gonna confirm the booking at thirty-two thousand dollars. I like. I think our curve is good. Kevin Owens beats uh, the bisexual Undertaker. Hopefully, a rivalry pops, and we can go. We can continue on that route of a storyline. Um, and we like the women's title belt run as well. So this is feeling good. Oh. WCW. Oh. Hell yeah! Blair Davenport needs a fight this week. All right, so let's book that real quick. Oh gosh. I need a good rivalry. Hmm. Trying to think. Maybe we can do a tag team. Who's good? I'm trying to think. Okay. Does the, the tag team doesn't really matter if one's heel, one's face, does it? Not as much, but you just wouldn't want to do, like, you wouldn't want to have, like, all four heels. Mm, right, okay. Gotcha. Or all four faces, honestly. Face. All right. I might do Becky Lynch just for this week. Just to see what pops off. And that is going to be a tag tag title match. All right. So there we go. I got that. That's gonna get me ten scout, ten talent scout points. Ugh. 
<laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Oh gosh, let's see. We don't have like any money though. I never have any money. Seventy-eight thousand. Um, do we have? I don't think that's worth thirty thousand. But I do like pre-match physio. do that yet. Alright. Wait, road crew? We can get backstage crew now? So this is the one where we only can pick, we only get like a point a week, correct? Yeah, you get one asset per week. So, it's it. So like, I'll be able to do an upgrade this week, but that's only because I didn't do one last week. Okay. So you'll have to decide if you could do one next week for crew effects or advertising, or you could save another week and upgrade your arena again. Ooh. If, yeah, yeah, that's where the different strategies will kick in for logistics, depending on <clears throat> what you need at the moment. All right, all right. I like it. Now let's get back to the action. Cody Rhodes, your new... Champion. Finish the story right away. Right away. Oh, whoa. Hold on. I'm in shambles. I'm just trying to think. Okay. Let's do Braun and the Miz. Because I like that. And then... I want to do... Wait. I don't... Uncle Howdy's my favorite. Well, I'm excited to see if the comments give us any good team names for Ricochet and Howdy. <laughs> I just... Screams. I just want to see where that goes. I need... I don't know. I'm probably going to have to sign somebody here in a second, because... I need some better tag team options. Holy Chad didn't have a freaking word on that one. I forget all the other new ones, but the the wardrobe malfunction's funny. We had one on stream where it was like somebody said, I wanna be in the main event, and then someone else texted us and was like, I wanna be in the main event. So we had to like <laughs> either pick one or give it to both. That's so funny. Um, I don't know if I need necessarily. What goes good against the cruiser? It's... Uh, giant. Giant, that's it. Let's see if there's a giant. Dante. Giant male out here. Big male. Whoa. Hmm. Try. <laughs> Dude's got 29 pop and 76 damn. You can build him up. He can be your next superstar. Yeah, you can be Count big. And, oh, yeah. Oh, my. He can sign up for the old The cheaper he'll be per week. So if you think he's got a future, oh, a little cool. test run. Future. And then for the renegotiations, at least what I've seen so far, assuming you have enough money, what will happen is... You can offer five weeks at what they want, five weeks at the low ball like last year, a 10-week deal, or a rest of the season deal when, okay. uh, when a contract expires. All right, all right. All right. Let's put, it, let's put the big man in a, in a tables match just to see how they fare. <sighs> okay. Try so, it looks like me when I woke up this morning. <laughs> well, the crown on his head, you king. Yeah, I put the crown on right as I first went to sit up and then swung out of bed and knocked something over my belly. Oh. Could it roll, baby? I will say that they rolled in <laughs> the game, so there's a chance if you're searching for it, you might stumble on 
on my, on his, my I'm the daddy of Cody Rhodes, so I can't say you stumble on my daddy because I'm the daddy. <laughs> Bring it home. Sorry, I'm struggling to figure out how to say it. First double down of the year. Yeah, I gotta get that one going. Come on. <laughs> Ripley's gotta call out old Baxter's. Beckonator. So we'll work on those. I think my curve will be sufficient. And I really think that's probably all we're gonna do. I can't, like, I can't explain enough how much I love the new, uh, like, arena thing. Yes, yeah, the that's logistics different. are sweet. I love that. Obviously, there's, you know, like, the money to, like, search for agents takes away a little bit of that, but it's so much easier to manage your finances knowing you right. don't have to, like, repay every week. But, like, I don't have enough money, so I have to be at a shitty-ass high school gym, and you're at... Oh, my... Oh my god. The good steer. Does he do baby. it? The good steer. <laughs> oh man. I can't. I'll do 15 weeks. We'll there it is. Up. Wow. Yes. Things just got interesting on WCW, folks. Dude. The good steer and Triton. How do we ever be stopped? I just want to check over some of these just to make sure I can use them at the appropriate times. This can't be used before main event. Okay. Yeah, all the logistic ones where it makes it level one uh, can't be in okay. the pay-per-view. Because I got on stream, I got thrown off because I saved like three of them for a pay-per-view and I was like, oh. Okay. Okay, well, I think that's... Alright, I think we're Gucci. We spent a lot of money. But damn it, our show's good. You gotta and, we got a and we got our card. Damn. Let's roll. Oh no. Oh, here we go. go. Hopefully Seth Rollins is just like, oh, I'm so excited for ECW. Oh, wait. The loser Paul attacked me during that last fight. I'm not going to say carbs like that. I want to sell things and ring with them within the next three weeks. Well, no. no. That's tough. <laughs> So idiots like morale. Logan can do whatever they want. So yeah, get him some low morale. Genuinely, I don't know. I've never thought about like if morale carries over, if that just resets for Roll. you. We'll find out. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna learn together. All right. So last week we didn't go for the logistics, so I could get over 300k and knock out one of these trophies. Um. So this week we well, are gonna do it. Oh, I guess I could have got progress towards this though. You only need six missions for the trophy. Uh, it's five, and then you get it. Oh, okay. but it is okay. weird. Yeah, the way they present it, it does make it look like you need six this year. Like six stamps, you know? Yeah. All right, you're not booking most popular specialist. We get an injury rehab. Tell me that's Seth Rollins. It is Seth Rollins. Okay. Well, I was gonna bury him on the last show, but now he just won't be featured that way. I get that card. Um. Okay, so I'm going to lock up my concert hall this week. I think it makes sense to make the arena upgrade early like you guys did. So welcome to that. Take welcome to of. tier two. Feels good. Feels good. Out of the high school gym. <laughs> um, I like this card. I feel like this card's never like the mission, though. Like, it's always right. you got to buy it. It's the expensive 50. one to buy. Yeah, 50 for sure. So let's kind of see. So obviously for us, we're not going to do Logan Paul, Seth Rollins. That'll kind of fizzle off. Uh, Nikki Cross, Chelsea Green, Gunther and Sami Zayn is our, oops, is our mate. Oh, okay. I'm like you. It made it look like I could have a second page to look at. But, oh, oh there, yeah. that's why. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Got my tag feud. Okay. I just had to refresh myself there here at the start of the season. Um, so let's have... Let's have... 
let's see if we can get Bianca and Dakota into a feud. We're gonna get a call out there. And then we're gonna go a little triple threat action with our other ladies. So we'll have the rivalry and then we'll have Dakota in there just to get some exposure this week. Tag title match this week. Um, that can be our topper. I think we go Gunther and Sammy. We'll give them extreme rules. Gunther's match specialty. We'll put that in the main non-title just to not run off too much stamina, but that should do well. And then we'll have Ludwig Kaiser, Nathan Frazier. We'll have Logan Paul do a debating if I want him to do training or a self promo. Um, let's have Logan Paul do a pro self promo this week. And then we are also gonna make a signing. Um, so I'm thinking face bruiser <coughs> to go up against Logan Paul with Seth leaving would make sense. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go icon here. I'm gonna go male, face, bruiser. Send it in, hope for the best. We got Biggie she and Sheamus as our options here. Uh, loses two less stamina, can move between Bruiser Fighter and no hold, whoops, no hold barred matches. Uh, steel Cage, two less stamina, and can switch between Bruiser and Giant. I like to switch it between Bruiser and Giant a little better. He's a four promo, Sheamus is a three promo. He's got more stamina. I think we're going to go Big E. We're going to make it a four-week contract to start. A little kind of double check that. We'll do four weeks. Try to get this going into the pay-per-view. And then we'll see where we're at after pay-per-view. But hopefully Big E, long-term member of what we're doing. And then we're going to have... I don't know if this will work. Uh, so I'm not going to do the call. I'm going to give Big E a self-promo right off the rip as well. I was going to have him call out Logan Paul, but I don't know. I had on stream, I had some, like, times where if someone was in a level 1 feud and you put them in something else right away, it, it like, start a new level 1 feud. But I think in this case, we'll just, we know that feud's going to go away next week when Seth leaves. So we'll just go with a couple self-promos and then try to get these two into a feud for the team title. All right. I think we're golden. That's, that's a show, baby. Boom. Send it in. And we are on to the simulation, leading off with SmackDown this week. SmackDown. We've got Trick Williams, Carmelo Hayes versus Veer and Ivar. I wish Veer was just, just Veer so they could just be two first games, but that's fine. Uh, we we have no tag team. Veer. Yeah, no title on the line because if the two Giants pull it off, then they become number one contenders. Let's see what happens. I have not clicked on the screen. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, the Giants do not get it done, but a new rivalry starts, so maybe they do find their way in uh, to get. Rivalry's going. Maybe they do find a way to get in there. Okay. We've got two um, uh, bonus on popularity on the self promo for Apollo, and then our mid card here. We've got two garbage matches. So we got Tyler Brate versus Joe Coffey. Brate pulls it off in a disappointing match, but that works for the curve, so I'm not too, I'm not too worried about that. Piper calls out, uh, no rivalry pop, so that's fine. Oh, fuck. <laughs> not my fuck. And here we go. Same thing if Kevin Owens does not beat the bisexual Undertaker. Kevin Owens, unless a rivalry pops, it's the only way Kevin Owens is going to stay in the title hunt. Or not, he might fall down a level here. He doesn't. And a rivalry pop. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's what we wanted. Perfect, perfect. Dexter Loomis calls out Cough, Coughinator and gets a rivalry going. I like that a lot. 
and main event triple threat for the women's championship normal match but it's a triple threat the hall gets a rematch against tamina and Liv morgan's just like hey i'm in here too because like like kind of have a robbery going on so and Liv takes her belt will top me nah, as for her rematch as the women's title belt changes hands again in week two wild wild two weeks on smackdown <clears throat> All right, and at WCW, our opener is a tag team title match for the ladies. We have the wonderful Becky Lynch and Blair Davenport teaming up against our champions, Indy Hartwell and Zoe Stark. Let's see if they can pry the belts away. No, Indy and Zoe keep their belts, but at what cost? A boring match, the fans say. Roman Reigns says... Yo, Cody. And Cody Hollis. Hello. You're both little bitches. <laughs> and that sparks a rivalry, because them's fighting work. And then, on the card, that is anything but mid. A tables match for Dirty Dominic against newly signed Triton. Let's right. see if the Giant can pull it off. Oh my goodness. A little disappointing, I know. How did he get Triton through the table? We'll never know. Then Cody Rhodes says, hey, the Cody Coalition is strong. Don't be talking smack. So the rivalry continues. And then in the men's tag team title match, fan favorite, Uncle Howdy, Ricochet, hmm. your tag team champions against Akira, who has a new partner this time, Scripps. Let's see if he can flip the Scripps will and pull away the belts no, Hell no. uncle oh. howdy <clears throat> undeniable and that might mess up my curve that was a two and a half star match right there and then lady side who re ripley cannot call out becky lynch in an effort to get the rivalry popped so i got to go back to the drawing board there and then your main event for the men's title Braun Strowman against The Miz. Let's see if The Miz can pry it away from Braun's strong hands. Hell no. No, he can't. Braun continues. He is now 2-0 against The Miz. Does he need a strong challenger? Find out next week. Then we head over to AI Raw, brought to you by Theodore Long. He kicks it off for the women's tag team title match. Natalya and Charlotte Flair against EO Sky and Tiffany Stratton. The vacated titles go to Natalya and Charlotte in a three-star match. Nikita Lyons comes out and says, ah, oh, that's really nice women's tag team titles you had. I wish I had them. And then she went, really? And then Nikita went, no, level two for you. Men's tag title is going to find a home as our truth Josh Briggs team up with Jimmy Uso and his new brother, Damon Uso. The Usos get the win, two stars, kicking off a rivalry as well. Asuka self-promo. She gets one popularity for the Women's World Champ over on Raw. And then we've got Finn Balor, non-title action here against Julius Creed. And Finn gets the win, two and a half stars there. Self-promo for Austin Theory, eight town down, three popularity for him. And then the United States Championship, Shinsuke Nakamura defending against L.A. Knight. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. The U.S. champ, three and a half stars for Raw in the main event. Ravery goes up to level two. Then we head over to ECW, baby. And we kick it off pretty deadly against Chase U. Tag team title match here, pretty deadly. Looking to defend those belts successfully. They do not, as Chase U gets a win in a three and a half star match. Very happy with that to kick it off. That rivalry uh, goes to level two. Uh, we put these two in a match last week, it didn't work. So we're going promo style this time. Bianca calls out Dakota Kai, and we kick start the feud there, which we love to see. Then Dakota Kai finds herself in triple threat action against new rivals, Nikki Cross and Chelsea Green. And it is Dakota Kai getting the victory, showing her strength, showing her ability to Bianca Belair. One and a half star match, Nikki Cross, Chelsea Green go up to level two. Logan Paul comes out and 
says, look, initially I was going to talk to you guys about somebody I have a problem with in the back. But now, to be honest with you, I don't think there are any problems in the back. And one person very quietly applauded. Maybe we'll figure out who that person is a little later tonight. And then Ludwig Kaiser takes on Nathan Frazier, extending their rivalry here in the mid card. And Ludwig gets the victory in a two-star match rivalry up to level two. And then all of a sudden, Big E comes to the ring. Crowd going crazy. He gets two extra fans right off rip. Big E, very excited to be part of the ECW roster. And we'll see where his targets get set next week. Then our main event, non-title action here. The world champion, Gunther, going to be taking on Sami Zayn. Extreme rules match, specialty match for Gunther. He gets the victory in a four-star match to close the show. And the rivalry extends to level two. So in our post match to quickly run it down again, good booking across the board for us there. Uh, three and a half for our tag match. Chase you, your new tag champs. Uh, Dakota Kai, one and a half stars in the triple threat over Chelsea and Nikki. Ludwig Kaiser takes down Nathan Frazier, two star match. They're rivalry up to level two. And then uh, going third takes down Sami Zayn, four star match in the Extreme Rules. Bianca successfully calls out Dakota Kai. Okay, starting their feud over on SmackDown. Three stars, Trick Williams and Carmelo Hayes taking down Veer and Ivar. Uh, Tyler Bate over Joe Coffey in a one and a half star match. Kevin Owens takes down the world champion non-title action. Three stars there, kickstarting their feud. And then Liv Morgan gets her hands on the women's title in a three and a half star match, taking it away from Tamina in the triple threat. Uh, Piper tried to call out Liv, no dice. And then uh, yeah. Dexter Loomis starts a feud with Joe Coffey. WCW two stars in the opener as Indy Hartwell and Zoe Stark hang onto the women's tag team titles over Becky Lynch and Blair Davenport. Dominic Mysterio somehow puts Triton through a table to win in a one and a half star match. Uncle Howdy and Ricochet successfully defend their tag titles over Akira Tozawa and Scripps, two and a half stars. And then The Miz comes up short against Braun Strowman in a three star match for the US title. On the call side of things, Cody and Roman Reigns instantly get to level two. That double dip cost strat looks to be good yet again in 2K24. Oh, yeah. And then Rhea calls out Becky, but no extension of their rivalry. And then finally, the AI Raw. Three stars, Charlotte and Natalia getting the women's tag titles over EO Sky and Tiffany Stratton. Uh, Jimmy Uso and Damon Uso take down Josh Briggs and our truth in a two star match, kickstarting a rivalry. And. Getting them the tag titles. Finn beats Julius Creed no two and a half. And then the main event, LA Knight becomes your new United States champion with a three and a half star victory in the level two feud against Shinsuke. And Nikita extended the rivalry with Natalia up to level two. So our post match. <coughs> Did we talk about this last Ooh. week with the post matches also in the order you book. So 43,000 fans for SmackDown, $31,000. Okay. Also, we thought this was the case when the draft was going on. Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams do have chemistry. On WCW, Zoe Stark and Indy Hartwell have chemistry. Right. 42,000 fans. $48,000. All right. For Raw, uh, Uso and Uso work as a team. 47,000 fans for Raw. $55,000 just sort of 56. Damn. Then for ECW, Chase, you work well together. 45,000 fans for us. 32, just short of $32,000 there. Health Spa for SmackDown knocking out their GM or their commissioner goal, excuse me. I know a guy, 10 scout points for WCW when needed, which also Cheek has that scout challenge. So that's clutch for that as well. Okay. Injury rehab for me by not using Seth Rollins, who I just have a hunch isn't going to be a long term part of ECW. Hmm. And there are the standings after two weeks. So Raw up front, but obviously we're right at the start. Everything's super close. SmackDown to second, myself in third. WCW at the back end here. So we'll go to the next week. We'll kick off the emails. There are no emails for WCW. Hey, so we'll go ahead and back out here and wrap up this episode again this year. What we're going to do is to get you know more episodes out to you guys. We are going to do... Two weeks of booking, two weeks of booking, and then a pay-per-view. Makes them a little easier to digest. Leads to you guys getting more videos. So if you're dialed into the series, you're going to see a lot more. Um, so, Cheek, I'm going to kick off to you. The next episode, you'll be the one starting the booking 
We're only a couple weeks in, but how do you feel about the shape of WCW to start? It's a little bullshit. Um, my fandom is down. Uh, my money supply is very low compared to uh, all the other um, brands, so I have to work on that. But I did, you know, I did buy some of the tier, the wrestling tier for the ring. I bought a couple free agents last week, so um, there's a reason I'm a little low on cash, so I got to start to recoup some of that. But other than that, um, I feel pretty good. I'm still within striking distance very early on, so not too worried. Canada, uh, you know, big acquisition for you this week. Um, that is oh, gonna be making their debut next week. So, how's uh, how's SmackDown sitting after a couple weeks? Yeah, you know, uh, SmackDown. I didn't want to say it at the draft because I didn't want you to uh, plan or anything. But um, my last draft pick was actually technically that's the first draft pick. Yeah. So I'm feeling pretty good. We got a new acquisition for free using the cheat code of Xavier Woods. And I'm going to utilize Seth freaking Rollins as much as I can. So I'm excited. How are you feeling, Cody? Yeah, so I mean, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and you know pretend otherwise. Losing Seth definitely hurts. Um, I, I figured cheat code would get used against me. I guess I, I definitely was not ready for week two. Um, so it, it stinks to lose Seth, but... You know, we wish him not the best, but like he can be second best. I wish him the second best this season. Um, so we ended up kind of transitioning. We signed Big E. Our money's in an okay spot. We did buy that arena logistic there for the second week. Um, and hopefully we can get a Big E Logan Paul feud started. But we've got a couple feuds I'm feeling good about early on, some good match ratings. So hopefully we can grow those feuds. Have a good, you know, first pay-per-view when the time comes and capitalize off of it. So if you are at this part of the video, I always say it here, you clearly like a little bit of what's going on. So take a look if you haven't already, like the video, and definitely if you haven't already, hit subscribe. There's going to be a lot of GM mode content on this channel along with other fun videos we're going to be doing. Uh, so a really great way to get involved and make sure you don't miss a thing because these videos are going to drop rapid. So until the next one, we'll be booking weeks three and four in the next video, gearing ourselves up for the first pay-per-view of the year. But until then, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Toodles.